schon seit Stunden wissenschaftliche Experimente, doch was nützt an denen? Looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Well, let me show you what you missed. Alright, here we are back at the beginning of the level. Notice I've got the cross, the shield weapon, going up to fight the Cyclops guy. Now the Cyclops takes about 10 hits to kill. Now watch this. Okay. I'm hitting him. Hitting him some more. Hitting him some more. Oh, gee, that looks like a lot more than 10 shots, don't you think? Well, guess what? Cyclops is immune to the cross weapon. He takes no damage from it whatsoever. Now check this out. Okay, killed the Cyclops. Got the Lance. Fighting the dragon here. Chopping him down the side. Now the dragon takes exactly five hits to the head. You know, direct hits to the head to kill. Uh, shots the body don't do anything. Now as you're watching, you know, see you've cut him down to nothing. Boy, that sure looks like a lot more than five shots to me, don't you think? Yeah, he's immune to the Lance. Okay, now we're going to show you some glitches. Alright. First we're going to include this little fight with the Red Devil here because I love this fight. Uh, watch this. Just whoop and 
black death flew right under my blades. That was cool. Okay. Now you see the hopping skeleton? That's he, he's he glitches. Oh, what was that? Oh my gosh, I just took damage for no reason, even though I killed the guy. Alright, here we are again, same ladder. Killed the skeleton this time. Didn't take any damage. Oh look! The red devil appeared from out of nowhere and now he's swooping at me. Yeah, fun stuff. It's one of the things that makes these levels hard. Oh, and one other thing, if you notice when I was playing the video, you know, well, watch, you'll, you'll, you'll see. Oh, look, double whammy, damage from nowhere and an invisible red devil. That's gotta suck. Uh, and here's the last part. Let's see if you don't know. Now, I'd love to say that, you know, when I was playing through this particular segment, that I had not gotten hit, but no, I went and got the, res the replacement armor. Alright, here we are at the boss. Note the weapon that I've got. Fighting with my trusty dagger. Used for most of the game. Play through here. You know, kicking these guys' heads in. Do a pretty good job of it if I do say so myself. Alright, there we go. Looks like a pretty easy victory. Grab the key, walk in the door, and... You need a shield, you know, because it's holy. That's what you use to kill Satan. But hey, that's all right. We, you know, we did all that the first time through. I was just showing you all this stuff that you needed to do. So we're ready for a showdown with, you know, with the big S himself. Impressive looking, isn't he? Yeah, for all the, you know, for all the trouble it takes to get here, he's actually not that hard. Um, you know, he just shoots at you. He's got dodge shots. Hit him in the head. I don't know how many times I never bother to count. And there you go. Now here's the real trick. Yeah, the, this room is a trap. Basically, you've got to go through the game twice to win. But it's not that hard, as you can see. And that, folks, is our playthrough of Ghosts and Goblins. Just wanted to say thank you and thanks everyone for watching. Wanted to just take a moment to explain those glitches to you. Knowledge of those is what helps uh, you get through the game. Why, that's why I also went down, got the shield, climbed back up, because it actually helps you avoid those glitches so you don't take damage or have an invisible red devil come and kick your head in. Well, that's everything. Thank you, and I'll see you around. Oh